devastating cyclones in Mozambique, deadly droughts in Somalia, massive floods in Uganda. The continent least responsible for this climate crisis is suffering the most. Meanwhile, rich, predominantly white countries continue to exploit our planet and prosper at our expense. The truth is, you can't have climate justice without racial justice. The Global North has a climate debt to pay, and I intend to hold them to it. For the Global South, the climate crisis isn't a problem of the future. It is already here. In Uganda, we are already experiencing severe droughts, food shortages and famine. Our glaciers are melting. Heavy rainfall is causing massive landslides and floods. I was inspired by the Fridays for Future movement, so I decided to start protesting around Kampala to raise awareness of the climate crisis. Each week, I would protest outside malls, petrol stations, and even in front of the parliament. One by one, more people started joining me. Together, our voices became louder and our dedication to the cause grew even stronger. That is how I started the Rise Up movement, which amplifies African voices in the fight against climate change. Today, our movement has grown across Kampala, across Uganda, across Africa. But it's not enough. World leaders talk about curbing carbon emissions, but we need them to understand who is most affected and act accordingly. Africa emits only 3% of global greenhouse gases, and yet it is us who suffer the most. When it comes to the climate movement, too often, the Global North sets the agenda without listening to the Global South. I experienced this firsthand when I attended the World Economic Forum in Davos in 2020. I wanted to let people know how climate change was impacting Uganda. While there, I had a photo taken with other climate activists, white climate activists. But the Associated Press decided to crop me out when they published the picture. In an instant, it was like I wasn't there. My voice had been erased. They didn't just erase me that day, they erased an entire continent. But I won't let them silence us. I will continue to show up and speak up, and I've made it my mission to stop the whitewashing of the climate movement. We need to amplify African voices, and we need to make sure that the world listens to our stories and our solutions. Maybe it's possible to erase one climate activist from a photo, but it's impossible to ignore an entire continent raising their voices together and demanding change. I hope you feel inspired to use your own voice. If you want to learn more about the people who are striving to make the world a better place, click here and check out more from the Solving It series.